For next year, the teams, Formula One teams, will be led from the Kinetic Energy Recovery System uh, called KERS. This will allow the teams to have a maximum of 60 kilowatts of power with 400 kilojoules of energy. That means effectively 60 kilowatts for about six and a half seconds per lap available. There are a number of choices available to the teams uh, to, to, to store the energy. Um, batteries, supercapacitors, or flywheels. And Williams will be using uh, an electrically driven flywheel, which gives the best compromise of uh, power and energy per unit weight. <laughs> The energy, instead of going in, in friction on the rear brakes, is actually transmitted through the drive shaft and the gearbox into the electric motor, which is a motor generator. So under braking, it's a generator taking power from the, the rear wheels and under acceleration of the motor. When the driver wants to, to use the energy uh, <coughs> to increase acceleration, then, then he'll, he'll push, push a button on the, the steering wheel. It'll give um, enough to, for, to give the extra power required to assist in an overtaking manoeuvre but without drastically affecting lap time so it'll probably be in the order of about 0.2 of a second per lap. We believe that we, we have got the most competitive system I'm sure everybody else does too so uh, next year we'll tell uh, it'll be an interesting challenge for everybody and I think we, we should know by the end of next year which, which is the best system. One of our objectives with Williams Hybrid Power is to take this technology and apply it into other areas and we are working with a number of large manufacturers at the moment for automotive applications and other applications so I think we will see very shortly within the next couple of years the benefits of the technology which have been developed in Formula 1 transferring to, to the outside world. <laughs>